Shifting focus now to breaking news coming in from our neighborhood, which is Pakistan. Looks like former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, could be arrested anytime soon. What we're learning from our sources within uh, the establishment in Pakistan is that Imran Khan's arrest is likely to happen this month itself. In a few days from now is what uh, we're learning. This could be because one of his key aides from the past, from when he was the Prime Minister, has now decided to turn approver against him. And that could be the last nail in the coffin, judicially speaking, as far as Imran Khan and uh, the cases of corruption against him go. Abhishek, my colleague, getting us more details. Uh, Abhishek, what exactly is the new development because of which now Imran Khan uh, has a renewed threat of being arrested? Of course, uh, and if uh, his close associate, uh, or former close associate, when Imran Khan was uh, in the Prime Minister's office, if he turns the prover, he can spill a lot of uh, beans, uh, I mean, those who can be, uh, which can be uncomfortable truth for Imran Khan because of uh, there are allegations of uh, corruption uh, on Imran Khan. Then there is Toshkana case where Imran Khan apparently uh, got his uh, uh, high precious gifts from uh, international uh, government uh, sold in the market and the revenue generated. Uh, Imran Khan took that into his personal account and did not even declare the taxes. Uh, there are other cases of corruption also on Imran Khan and uh, if his close associate turns the approver and, uh, you know, there's everything quite bare to the investigation, uh, investigative agencies. It will be yet another blow to Imran Khan defending himself as an honest and unscrupulous uh, element uh, in the political uh, landscape of Pakistan. Now, Abhishek, so far, uh, Imran Khan has managed to get uh, relief from multiple courts in the country. He has been out on bail. Uh, there are several cases of corruption that he faces. This all comes in the backdrop of the fact that Pakistan does have to hold uh, elections later this year. Of course, see, uh, Imran Khan has been getting bail mostly on the circumstantial evidences where uh, courts have said that uh, the investigation, investigative agencies could not provide the courts uh, with enough evidences based on which, uh, uh, you know, arrest can be pronounced for Imran Khan. But if uh, a close associate turns approval, he can have more documentary uh, evidences against Imran Khan and his statement may be. Uh, taken as a as a as a as a very strong evidence of Imran Khan's alleged corruption cases of past. Yes. Uh, in that case, it will be very difficult for Imran Khan to defend himself. And as the election of dates are appearing uh, about October, October 23 is some times where in the general election in Pakistan are scheduled to be held. Uh, so, like in the next two three months, it will be difficult for Imran Khan to defend himself and create an atmosphere of positivity, uh, you know, around his political uh, image. Sure. Uncertainty prevails as far as Imran Khan's career goes and as far as the political stability of Pakistan goes. But on that note, I have to wrap it up here on 